Pakistani President Asif Ali Zardari is walking a political tightrope. On the one hand, he hopes to convince his countrymen that the fight against Islamic extremists is their own. On the other hand, he publicly urges the U.S. to cease unilateral missile attacks on militants, which he says anger his people. And on the domestic policy front, he still faces the push by Pakistani lawyers to bring back Chief Justice Iftikhar Chaudhary, who was unconstitutionally dismissed along with 50 other judges. The movement continues despite the fact that 45 of those judges have rejoined the judiciary. Like the United States, Pakistan is also common law jurisprudence. Speaking to law students at Georgetown University, Chaudhary lectures on the rule of law. He and other leaders are seeking support among Washington's lawyers. A senior Pakistani advocate, Athar Minella, told Georgetown University law students that Pakistani lawyers have used the internet to find help from American lawyers. Those students who are in the U.S. Uh, studying in various universities, the kind of network that they have created and the contribution that is being made by them, it amazes me. One such supporter, human rights activist Jonah Davis, took part in a long march staged by the Pakistani lawyers last June. I say definitely don't give up on uh, the movement for democracy and rest restoration of the Chief Justice. Um, I think that people need to be realistic that it's not going to be overnight. Manila says if Pakistan's parliament does not reinstate the Chief Justice, the judiciary in Pakistan can never be independent. Any judge before whom is the example and fate of Justice Iftikhar Muhammad Chaudhary and the other judges and their family, no judge would ever dare to become independent. An independent judiciary is also a must to fight Islamic extremists in Pakistan, says the leader of the movement, senior Supreme Court advocate Atizaz Hassan. People turn away from a system that is incapable of imparting justice and embrace the rough, ready and brutal justice system of the Taliban. Thus are crucial battles lost. Thus are crucial battles being lost. But Stephen Cohen at the Brookings Institution in Washington gives President Zardari's government credit for bringing stability to Pakistan. Has formed a stable government at the center and has stable coalition governments in, couple, in most of the provinces. So it's an amazing accomplishment, I think, given, given how, far, how far gone Pakistan was just a, a few months ago. And as the debate goes on, the ousted Chief Justice continues his campaign for an independent judiciary. He told Georgetown Law students in Washington that such missions take time. The U.S. Supreme Court of 1950s was altogether different from that of the 1990s, just as the Indian Supreme Court of 1980 bears no resemblance to the Indian Supreme Court today. Chaudhary remains hopeful that the judicial fight he began last year for ordinary Pakistanis' rights and privileges will continue. He says it is crucial to bringing real democracy in Pakistan and that his struggle is not just to get his job back, but to bring judicial independence in Pakistan. Ravi Khanna, VOA News.